but uh, made a little bit over 200 miles and the front cylinder on the bike blew up. So start shooting oil out of the exhaust. I've got nothing on the front cylinder, so sitting in a Walmart parking lot. So the upper ring land is gone, uh, a good piece of the uh, ring is gone, and lots of damage to the top of that piston. So I'm going to say that was improperly gapped rings. The reason I say we had a uh, ring failure besides the obvious broken ring and broken piece of piston, look at that ring gap right there. That is nowhere near sufficient. This is all piston material. That there.
What is up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today is the reveal of the chopper, the finished project. As you saw at the beginning of this video, 11 months ago, this bike blew up. Pretty much the only thing that was salvageable was the crankshaft and the two cases. Other than that, everything was destroyed. So, I've rebuilt this entire bike. It's taken three months. My wife, she pushed me to do this. Uh, my wife's actually who came and rescued me that night. We weren't married yet, but if you ever want to know if someone is really down for you, break down on a motorcycle four hours from home and see who comes to get you. And see if they complain or not when they do it. I'll tell you this much, she came to get me. And didn't call me crazy the next morning when I hopped on my other bike on three hours of sleep and hit the road again. So this bike, it's been built. A lot of these parts, most of these parts, came from TC Bros, starting at the front. We have the TC Bros Moto Iron Springer. Got some TC Bro handlebars. And as we move back, the tank came from Lowbrow. Seat came from TC Bros. The rear fender came from Dennis Kirk. And other odds and ends came from other people. And I've put a lot of time into this bike, a lot of time. This paint job, this is probably one of the best paint jobs. I've ever done in my life. I don't know how good it comes through on camera, but a lot of work in this. Get to watch. People keep stopping and just, I have this bike sitting out here and people keep stopping and want to talk to me about this bike. I've been trying to shoot this video for like the last hour and a half. So, the exhaust, these were some pipes, some drag pipes that I got on Dennis Kirk. I cut these to size. This entire bike, there's been a lot of custom stuff to it. Uh, so, this wasn't a bolt together project. The hardtail frame came from TC Bros. My cousin came out, helped. He's a professional welder. I am a amateur welder, but I can do okay. We cut the frame in half, did the hardtail. And from there, I pretty much did the rest on my own. So everything from welding on the mounting points for the seat to the airbags, to welding together this sissy bar that I got as a DIY kit from TC Bros. Uh, chopping the bracket off for the brake caliper and welding my own on there. So this project, I've learned a lot through it. It's been a lot of hard work. I absolutely love this bike. That being said, there are a couple small flaws, but that doesn't bother me because I know I built this bike. So after all this hard work on this paint job, I accidentally spilt a little bit of gas on the paint and it kind of gave the paint this weird rainbow effect where the gasoline happened but with it out in the sunlight I really dig it so let me shut up and see if I can really show you guys this paint job out here in the sun. Guys there's gonna be a lot of content coming with this bike uh, as many of you know have been around for a while the bike that this originally was I set out to ride cross country on so I think I'm gonna do some road trips on this hardtail chopper and I still have another Sportster inside that I've redone and I plan to ride a Sportster cross country but I guess that's going to effectively wrap this video up I appreciate each and every one of you for watching I love you all please give this video a big thumbs up comment below like the channel subscribe if you're not already subscribed head on down to the description box all of the links to our social media as well as our company website hotheadsdolls.com where we have everything for horses and we sell dog leashes and dog collars. We also have apparel. So I will see you guys in the next one and I'm out of here.